welcome to the podcast series that brings you concise summaries of books you wish you've already read, in just 10 minutes. Today, we will be summarizing The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. Beware, however, that spoilers lie ahead. So if you plan to read the book, which we really hope you will, turn off the podcast as soon as your interest has been awakened. So let's get started. Part 1. Meet the Author J.D. Salinger, born in 1919, wrote The Catcher in the Rye, which was published in 1951. Although Salinger is known for his reclusive nature, his book had a profound impact on literature and continues to be relevant today. It has been widely celebrated and has won numerous awards. This coming-of-age novel explores themes of alienation, identity, and the struggles of adolescence. Salinger's work revolutionized the way young people were portrayed in literature and influenced generations of readers. Part 2. The Summary Holden Caulfield, a 16-year-old boy, recounts his experiences over a few days in December. The story begins with Holden leaving Pensy Prep, a boarding school in Pennsylvania, due to failing classes. He is disillusioned with the school and decides to leave before the end of the semester, feeling alienated and disenchanted with the world around him. Holden takes a train to New York City and decides to spend a few days there before returning home to face his parents. He checks into a hotel and immediately starts feeling lonely and disconnected. Throughout his time in the city, Holden encounters various characters, each with their own quirks and complexities. One of the first encounters is with a prostitute named Sonny. Although Holden initially plans to hire her, he ultimately backs out and only pays her for her time. This encounter leaves him feeling even more isolated and confused about his own desires and motivations. Holden then meets up with an old friend, Ackley, who is socially awkward and frequently irritates Holden with his hygiene and habits. Despite their differences, Holden spends time with Ackley, longing for some sort of connection. Holden also spends time with a classmate, Stradlater, who is popular with girls. Stradlater goes on a date with a girl Holden used to have feelings for, Jane Gallagher. This sparks Holden's jealousy and resentment towards Stradlater. The tension between them escalates when Holden discovers that Stradlater is interested in Jane on a more intimate level, which further deepens Holden's feelings of isolation. Feeling increasingly desperate for connection, Holden decides to reach out to another former classmate, Sally Hayes. He takes her on a date, but their interactions are strained and filled with superficiality. Holden proposes that they run away together, but Sally rejects his idea, leaving Holden once again feeling rejected and misunderstood. Holden's emotional turmoil reaches its peak when he visits his younger sister, Phoebe. Their encounter is bittersweet, as Holden yearns for the innocence and purity that he perceives in Phoebe. However, Phoebe challenges Holden's pessimism and urges him to find his place in the world rather than escape from it. Holden then finds himself in a state of confusion and uncertainty. He contemplates leaving and living a reclusive life out west, but ultimately decides against it. Instead, he seeks solace in the memories of his sister and contemplates his future while sitting on a park bench. Until now, The Catcher in the Rye provides a glimpse into the mind of a troubled young man navigating the complexities of adolescence and struggling to find meaning and connection, in an adult world that he perceives as phony and artificial. Holden's encounters with various characters highlight the themes of loneliness, alienation, and the longing for authenticity. Continuing the story, we follow Holden Caulfield's journey as he tries to make sense of his inner turmoil and find his place in the world. Holden spends a chaotic night in New York City, wandering the streets and trying to make connections with people he meets along the way. He visits a jazz club and a bar, where he encounters adults who seem fake and insincere to him. He becomes increasingly disillusioned with the hypocrisy and phoniness of the adult world. During this time, Holden reflects on his childhood and his younger brother Ali's death. He carries a deep sense of loss and grief, feeling a profound connection with his deceased brother. Holden's love for Ali, who he sees as innocent and pure, becomes a guiding force in his search for authenticity. Related to authenticity, Holden insists on wearing a red hunting hat, as a means to stand out against the phony and superficial world. 
Holden becomes fixated on protecting innocence, particularly that of children. He imagines himself as a catcher in the rye, standing at the edge of a cliff and catching children who are on the verge of falling into the corrupt adult world. This fantasy becomes a symbol of his desire to shield the vulnerable from the harsh realities of life. As the story progresses, Holden's mental state deteriorates. He becomes increasingly detached from reality and experiences moments of instability. He checks into a hotel and becomes obsessed with the idea of leaving society and starting anew. However, his longing for human connection and a sense of belonging still lingers. Holden's desperation leads him to seek out his former English teacher, Mr. Antolini, for advice and guidance. Mr. Antolini shows genuine concern for Holden but also delivers a warning about the dangers of isolation and the importance of engaging with the world. However, when Holden wakes up in the middle of the night to find Mr. Antolini stroking his head, he interprets the gesture as a violation of trust and flees. Feeling lost and disoriented, Holden decides to visit his sister Phoebe one last time before leaving. Their encounter is emotional and heartfelt, and Phoebe pleads with him not to run away. Inspired by Phoebe's unconditional love and support, Holden realizes the importance of connection and belonging. He decides to stay and face the challenges of growing up rather than escaping into isolation. The novel ends with Holden recounting his experiences from a mental health facility. He admits that he is still struggling but acknowledges the importance of sharing his story. The closing lines suggest that Holden has gained some measure of clarity and acceptance, hinting at the possibility of personal growth and a renewed sense of hope. Part 3 Major Themes, Key Messages, and Symbolism The Catcher in the Rye delves into several major themes and offers key messages to its readers. One of the central themes is the alienation and disconnection felt by the protagonist, Holden Caulfield. Through Holden's experiences, the book explores the challenges of growing up and the sense of isolation that often accompanies it. It also tackles the theme of authenticity and the societal pressure to conform. Holden seeks to preserve innocence in a world he sees as phony and filled with hypocrisy. Symbolism plays a significant role in the novel. The title itself refers to Holden's desire to protect children from the harsh realities of adulthood, acting as a metaphorical catcher in the rye. One example is the red hunting hat, a recurring symbol, which represents individuality and the desire to stand out from the crowd. It also symbolizes his inner conflict and his struggle to navigate the expectations and pressures of society, while preserving his own identity. As you reflect on the themes and symbolism, consider these thought-provoking questions. How do societal expectations impact our sense of identity? Is preserving innocence a noble goal or an unrealistic pursuit? How do we navigate the challenges of growing up while remaining true to ourselves? Part 4 Questions We have now come to the question segment, where we will ask five questions and afterwards present an answer. Feel free to pause in between the questions and reflect upon what you have learned today. Question 1 Who is the author of The Catcher in the Rye? Answer The author of The Catcher in the Rye is J.D. Salinger. Question 2. What major themes are explored in the book? Answer. The major themes explored in the book include alienation, identity, authenticity, and the challenges of growing up. Question 3. What does the title The Catcher in the Rye symbolize? Answer. The title symbolizes Holden's desire to protect children from the difficulties and corruption of adulthood. Question 4. How does the red hunting hat function as a symbol in the story? Answer. The red hunting hat symbolizes individuality and Holden's desire to stand out from the crowd. Question 5. Why is the catcher in the rye still relevant today? Answer. The catcher in the rye remains relevant today due to its exploration of universal themes such as identity, alienation, and the challenges of adolescence. Part 5. Conclusion The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger is a timeless classic that explores the struggles and confusion of adolescence. Through its themes, symbolism, and memorable protagonist, 
the book continues to resonate with readers of all ages. And that's the end of today's podcast. We hoped you enjoyed it and that it provided you with valuable insights. Thank you for joining us today, and have a wonderful day.